Fox 26 News Town Hall on gangs and gang violence in our community. Also, if you have something to say, tweet us at hashtag Rise Up Fresno. Please, your name and your affiliation. Hello, my name is Stephen Oliver, and uh, along with you, what you're saying about the cultural thing, the the religious thing, and the, also the um, people that are looking for Hispanics. Well, I'll be your first Native American to be in part of that circle if you invite me to that. I would love to be there because I'm a, I'm a testimony myself. I did 20-something years in the system. I broke that cycle. I became a believer in the Lord, and that's the only way that I'm going to get through my life is because of my Savior. So I would just like to say, because of my Lord and Savior, he's brought me to a point where I become a, a counselor. Now I'm going to Fresno City for to become a drug and alcohol counselor. You know, and to get back to the youth, I think it needs to start in the sixth grade level, somewhere in that era, because I remember that age very well. If someone takes someone like me, my job skills and skills that I have in arts, whatever, I'll be part of that. I would love to give my community that. I would love to teach the youth a better way instead of the wrong way. You have a new volunteer here. Again, you, you uh, just see me after. There's, there's, there's the leads here. You'll get you on board. Um, but to add to that is, is that um, what, what there's a... For, for those who are listening, uh, we have a coalition. We're trying to build even more uh, individuals to get involved, you know, giving us ideas, uh, resources, and so forth. Uh, uh, Beachy Lewis is, is, is also involved in that, and, and, and uh, um, LT uh, Garza from, from Southwest District. You know, individuals that can contribute to this program or to this coalition. So if somebody, you know, cares to, to want to stop the violence, get in contact with us. We are almost out of time, but we have time for one question. I'll be as expeditious as possible, representing the Southwest Fresno and Fresno, proud mama, strong mother, have four children. My son graduated from Fresno State on a full ride, also had an offer to West Point. Chief Dyer, <laughs> Sheriff Mims, Pastor Lewis, and you, sir, thank you and God bless you for what you're doing. But the most important entity that so many people forget that is the role of the mother and the power of the role of the mother, not the weakness of the mother, but the strength of the mother, the courage of the mother, because the mother's a praying mother. And I lived in every single Southwest Fresno gang area deliberately to let the neighbors know, to let the hood know, because my grandfather owned property in every one of those neighborhoods, that I refused to let my sons become gang members or casualties and go to college and have faith and live without fear and trust in the Lord because no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Wait, wait. All right. You're here with us now. What advice do you give to the mothers who are listening to you out there? Cook from scratch. Breastfeed. <laughs> Don't feed them McDonald's. Have them exercise. Make their homework that's due on Friday, have it done on Monday night, and then refresh and review. Because when they go to college, if they're a student athlete, they're not going to have a lot of time. And so they're going to have to know how to be disciplined and allocate their time. And I want you, I implore all of you, to start working with our young people that made choices in these areas. Not, not to have hire people that come and outsource Use our sources that we hear, our resources, our young people here. My son has a bachelor degree, and he doesn't have a job here. That's a shame. That's a shame. He, had, he could have went to West Point, but I always, through Little League and everything, I said, son, you're going to be a hometown hero. I want you to be, be here for your little brother. My younger son graduated from San Joaquin Memorial. My daughter that's over there started college at 15. She works for the government, so she can't be seen, but she's here anyway. Thank you. Amen. Monty, I, uh, you know, I talked earlier about fatherless homes. I now have an answer to fatherless homes. It's mothers like her. You know, it, it really is that simple. It starts with please and thank you. I mean, that's where it starts, teaching children how to say please and thank you. Keep your hands off of other people's stuff. Worry about taking care of your, yourself and uh, each other. And it's really that simple. So from one mother to the other, um, you go. Test. Very encouraging. I don't know that we can implement all those suggestions, but uh, great, I mean, some great suggestions there. We have run out of time. This brings to a close our Camp Page Fox 26 News Town Hall. But this discussion is far from over. And we invite you to continue it with us on our Camp Page Fox 26 News Facebook page, and again, hashtag Rise Up Fresno. Please join us. The, the, the problem is not over yet, and there are more solutions out there. 
please send them to us and continue. Thank you all for being here tonight. Thank you to our panel. Thank you, our audience. Also, our thanks to People's Church uh, for this uh, wonderful location here tonight.